Never give up, girl, even when they try. Yes, you and me against the world with you. I ride a Hello to all musical beings out there. This is a lot of uh, GMAC Productions in MixingMastermind.com. And I have a tutorial for you today. Actually, this is the first part of a mixing series that I am doing right now um, while I'm mixing a cover song for two of um, very uh, good friends of mine and uh, very great artists right now, Miki Campbell and Hazel Faith. So uh, it's a, a Filipino cover of a Korean hit song, uh, ROG by G-Dragon. So uh, right now, I just want to give you a brief uh, background on how we recorded this song. Basically, it was recorded at home. Uh, you know, at, we recorded this at home uh, in a condo unit uh, wherein there are no acoustic treatment, just, just bare walls, um, a bed, um, some chairs, and some tables. So it's a condo unit and those are hollow walls so basically the reflection is too much. So what I recorded it with is this microphone, this large condenser microphone and a vocal reflection filter and my laptop. So uh, I was able to minimize the room noise however um, I still got the ambience from the uh, the vocal recording and I got the it is an annoying sound actually so right now um, it is what I'm gonna teach you today is how to take the reverb from uh, from your vocal recordings for, or from any recordings at all because this is not actually the sound that you're looking for and that will actually um, affect your mix pretty badly because when you put reverb on a reverberated vocal audio sound that will cause some face, facing issues so that will be a problem to, uh, to you when you're doing your mix already so uh, right now it's quite raining so if you can hear the rain I, uh, I'm so sorry about it I apologize but uh, it's, it's good when it's raining you know so um, let's start so I wanna uh, let's listen and by the way, I, I, the, this is the first uh, video for the mixing series because I would like uh, to teach you how to um, organize your thoughts step by step during your mixing, uh, during the mixing process, okay? You just don't organize your tracks and then do your mixes uh, without thinking, without thinking about... Um, editing without thinking about comping without thinking about those things so basically this is the first one we're dealing with sound and it's really essential okay so right now um i would like to uh f for you to hear and listen to the vocal recording okay let's solo this you got me losing my mind no way you got me fired up never give up for you they try us you and me again, we do all right, right tonight. You have my heart like a beat, the way you got me turned up. Never give up, boy, even when they try us. You and me against the world, we do all right, or die tonight. Okay, let me uh, make it louder. Let's do it again. You got me losing my mind, the way you got me fired up. Never give up, boy, even when they try us, you and me against the world. We so you can actually hear the room ambience. So the reflections, uh, the sound reflection from the wall. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is to take out the reverb from the vocal sound. So basically, um, I'm you, the DAW of my choice is Mixcraft Pro Studio 8, and it's an amazing DAW. And this is one of the updated DOS uh, Mixcraft has right now, and it keeps getting better and better. So guys, check this out. So um, let's uh, pull this up, and so we need to use a third-party plugin, and uh, it and this one is a reverb remover that I have for so many years here. So basically, it's already here. Um, it's the division or di division I don't know 
um, and then what you need to do is to click edit and let's bypass it first and then let's check it out you got me losing my mind the way you got me fired up never give up boy even when they try us you and me against the world with you I ride or die tonight you have my heart like a beat the way you got me turned up never give up boy even when they try us you and me against the world with you I ride or die tonight Wow, there's uh, so much difference uh, in the vocal sound, okay? So basically this will also, you know, act as a gate if you uh, push it further. Let me show you. In my mind, the way you got me fired up. Never give up, boy, even when they try us. You and me against the world with you, I ride or die so, tonight. So what you need to do is to not push it further because it will act as a gate. Okay, so just to take out those reverbs. There are a lot of third-party plugins that we have. There's Unveil or Unveil. Um, there's also, a, I think, a CPL Dverb. And there are a lot of uh, uh, deverberation um, plugins in the market. But this one is, um, I believe, the easiest to use because it only has three knobs. And the uh, detector H speeds, I think it's high pass. I don't usually um, tweak this. The only thing that I tweak is this remove and then gain. So when you say gain, you gain the reverberation back. So let me uh, show it to you. You got me losing my mind the way you got me fired up. Never give up, boy, even when they try us. You and me against the world with you, I ride or die tonight. You have my heart like a beat the way you got me turned up. Never give up, boy, even when they try us, you and me against the world. So there's a, a lot of difference between the original sound and the one that has been treated with the reverb remover. Okay, so it, it actually sounded very dry. Now, um, I'm not yet done here because um, what we can do here is I found a plugin because what I am trying, what my goal here right now is to have since i wasn't able to to record the vocal track as uh, as this uh, as much as i wanted to the, the sound that, I, that 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 my the goal that i have when i was recording the sound i wanted to have that distinct um proximity uh you know the of dry vocal sound coming from road or from neumann and from all the very all very good um, large condenser microphones that that are out there that is very expensive so you know um, with a little bit of being creative and a little bit of uh, resourcefulness you can manage to do that here what I um, I can show you a, a plugin I think this is uh, underrated because it this is a plugin that I don't know if a lot of you guys know about so it's called the modern premiere um, in one of my videos, I showed you uh, a plugin by uh, Antras, which is the modern uh, Lost Angel, which is a, a clone of the LA-2A. But now I'm gonna show you a, another plugin from Antras. It's called the Modern Premiere, which is a a preamp simulator. Okay, so this I really love the the sound of the this simulator. So let me check it out it has um, i like vocal too and let's play i'm losing my mind the way you got me fired up never give up boy even when they try us you and me against the world with you i ride or die tonight you have my heart like a beat the way you got me turned up never give up boy even when they try us you and me against the world with you a ride or die tonight all right so it actually gave uh the sound warmth as well as um clarity that is the sound that i really want to have in my recordings okay the sound of a great microphone preamp and that modern premiere gave me that sound so 
let's um, go ahead and do this again. Okay, let me close this one. Losing my mind the way you got me fired up. Never give up, boy, even when they try us. You and me against the world with you are right or die tonight. You have my heart like a beat the way you got me turned up. Never give up, boy, even when they try us. You and me against the world with you are right or die tonight. All right. Okay, so that's how you uh, take the reverb out. If, 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 if your goal is to have that dry vocal sound that you, you need for your recordings, this is what you need to do. Um, we can have all the solutions that we can have. Um, just make sure that you've done your part in terms of uh, doing a great setup for your vocal recording. If you are recording in, uh, in a room that is not acoustically treated, Go ahead and do that. Just make sure that you did your all of the things that you done for you to tame the noise out, for you to take out the background noise from the outside, and for the room ambience. Um, I did. I used a vocal reflection filter, but it didn't really reduce the room ambience. It it recorded the ambience coming from the room. So basically, this is what we need to do. We need to take the reverb out from the vocal recording so that we can have and we can achieve the dry vocal recording and use a preamp simulator for us to have to, to, to achieve that, not just the dry vocal sound, but the warmth and the clarity coming from um, condenser mics that are good. Okay, so I hope this helps guys. Thanks a lot. Um, please check out my YouTube channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, please check out all the videos that I have. There are a lot of videos. And this is Jalad again of GMAC Productions and MixingMastermind.com. Until then, cheers.